Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Hindi ebook before it's gone. Namaste and welcome to hindipod101.com. I'm Anuj Khurana and I'm back with yet another Hindi lesson for you all. So in today's lesson we are going to learn 20 phrases which are must know if you are traveling. So let's begin. Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Do you speak English? Okay, so the another phrase is Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Which means do you speak English? Kya Hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Okay, so another phrase is Kya Hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Another interesting phrase which you should know is Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Okay. Another phrase is Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Kya main apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Another interesting phrase if you're not liking your room. So then it can be Kya main apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Maine apna reservation karwaya tha. I did my reservations. Okay, so this is important and in today's world, you might need this a lot. Maine apna reservation karwaya tha. Maine apna reservation karwaya tha. I did my reservations. Kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai? Can I get the menu please? Another interesting one if you're visiting a restaurant. Kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai? Can I get the menu please? So this is the way of asking suggestions. Aapki rai mein sabse acha kya hai? Do you have any recommendations? Okay, so if you're looking for recommendations, then this is the phrase for you. Aapki rai mein sabse acha kya hai? Do you have any recommendations? Kya mujhe check mil sakta hai? Can I get the check please? Okay. Another phrase is Kya mujhe check mil sakta hai? Can I get a check please? Mujhe moongfali se allergy hai. I'm allergic to peanuts. So if you're allergic to anything, you can just use this phrase. Mujhe dash the thing which you're allergic to se allergy hai. For say if you, have, you are allergic to peanuts, then you can say it. Mujhe peanuts se allergy hai. Kripya paani de. Please give me some water. Another phrase is Kripya paani de. Please give me some water. Ye kitne ka hai? How much is it for? If you want to ask someone that how much it is for, then the phrase is Ye kitne ka hai? Ye kitne ka hai? How much is it for? Main ye das lena pasand karunga. I would like to have 10 of these. If you like something and you want that in numbers, then this is the phrase for you. Main ye das lena pasand karunga. I would like to have 10 of these. Ye mujhe pasand hai. I like it. If you like something, then this is the phrase. Ye mujhe pasand hai. I like it. Kya aap mujhe thodi chhoot de sakte hai? Can you give me some discount? Okay, 
so it happens a lot here in India. People give you discounts. So if you want to ask for that, can you give me some discount? Learn this phrase. This will be helpful for you for your India visit. For sure. Can I make credit card se bhuktaan kar sakta hu? Can I make the payments by using my credit card? Okay, if you want to just inquire that if you can make the payment using your credit card, then this is the phrase. Kya main credit card se bhuktaan kar sakta hu? Can I make the payments by using my credit card? Railway station kaha hai? Where is the railway station? If you want to inquire about the railway station, then railway station kaha hai? Where is the railway station? Maaf karna kitna fair hai? Excuse me, what is the fair amount? Okay, if you want to inquire about the fair, then maaf karna kitna fair hai? Excuse me, what is the fair amount? Kya aap meri ek tasweer kheen sakte hai? Can you please take a picture of mine? Okay, so if you want to ask favor from someone that if they come and click your picture, then this is the phrase. Kya aap meri ek tasweer kheen sakte hai? Can you please take a picture of mine? So these were the phrases which will be definitely helpful for you if you are visiting India. I hope you learned these phrases and enjoyed this video. If you have any kind of suggestions, please leave your valuable comments or feedback in the comment section. And also like our channel which is HindiPod101. You can also visit our website which is HindiPod101. 101.com and you can find many such videos over there. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with more videos. Till then stay tuned. Goodbye. Take care. Namaste. You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. शहर के दक्षिण की तरफ You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Atmi Pankti, seat C. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running?
There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Sarvajanik chutiyo har mahine ke tisre ravivar ko. You are at a bus terminal where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. 301 number bus yahan nahi rukti. You just got off a bus at a bus terminal and you're looking to catch a taxi. Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? You should head east to get to the taxi rank. Pur. Namaste and welcome to HindiPod101.com. I'm Anuj Khurana and I'm back with yet another Hindi lesson for you all. So in today's lesson, we are going to learn 20 phrases which are must know if you are traveling. So let's begin. Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Do you speak English? Okay, so the another phrase is Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Which means, do you speak English? Kya hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Okay, so another phrase is, Kya hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Another interesting phrase which you should know is Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room? For tonight? Okay. Another phrase is Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Kya mein apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Another interesting phrase if you're not liking your room. So then it can be Kya mein apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? मैंने अपना रिजर्वेशन करवाया था। I did my reservations. Okay, so this is important and in today's world you might need this a lot. मैंने अपना रिजर्वेशन करवाया था। मैंने अपना रिजर्वेशन करवाया था। I did my reservations. क्या मुझे मेन्यू मिल सकता है? Can I get the menu, please? Another interesting one if you're visiting a restaurant. Kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai? Can I get the menu please? So this is the way of asking suggestions. Aapki rai mein sabse achha kya hai? 
do you have any recommendations okay so if you are looking for recommendations then this is the phrase for you aapki rai mein sabse acha kya hai do you have any recommendations kya mujhe check mil sakta hai can i get a check please okay another phrase is kya mujhe check mil sakta hai can i get a check please mujhe moongfali se allergy hai i am allergic to peanuts so if you are allergic to anything you can just use this phrase mujhe dash the thing which you are allergic to say allergy hai for say if you are you are allergic to peanuts then you can say it mujhe peanuts se allergy hai kripya pani de please give me some water another phrase is kripya pani de please give me some water ye kitne ka hai how much is it for if you want to ask someone that how much it is for then the phrase is ye kitne ka hai ye kitne ka hai how much is it for main ye 10 lena pasand karunga i would like to have 10 of these if you like something and you want that in numbers then this is the phrase for you main ye 10 lena pasand karunga i would like to have 10 of these ye mujhe pasand hai i like it if you like something then this is the phrase ye mujhe pasand hai i like it kya aap mujhe thodi chhoot de sakte hain can you give me some discount okay so it happens a lot here in india people give you discounts so if you want to ask for that kya aap mujhe thodi chhoot de sakte hain can you give me some discount learn this phrase this will be helpful for you for your india visit for sure kya main credit card se bhugtan kar sakta hu can i make the payments by using my credit card okay if you want to just inquire that if you can make the payment using your credit card then this is the phrase kya main credit card se bhugtan kar sakta hu can i make the payments by using my credit card railway station kaha hai where is the railway station if you want to inquire about the railway station then railway station kaha hai where is the railway station maaf karna kitna fare hai excuse me what is the fare amount okay if you want to inquire about the fare then maaf karna kitna fare hai excuse me what is the fare amount kya aap meri ek tasveer kheench sakte hain can you please take a picture of mine okay so if you want to ask favor from someone that if they come and click your picture then this is the phrase kya aap meri ek tasveer kheench sakte hain can you please take a picture of mine so these were the phrases which will be definitely helpful for you if you are visiting india i hope you learned these phrases and enjoyed this video if you have any kind of suggestions please leave your valuable comments or feedback in the comment section and also like our channel which is hindi pod 101 you can also visit our website which is hindi pod 101.com and you can find many such videos over there i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll be back with more videos till then stay tuned goodbye take care namaste Greetings everyone welcome back to hindipod101.com the easiest smartest and quickest way to learn hindi online my name is anuj khurana and i'm back with yet another lesson to learn more new hindi words so today we are going to discuss 20 words you will need for the beach so let's start our first word is dhoop ka chashma sun glasses धूप का चश्मा धूप का चश्मा विच मीन्स सन क्लासेस यह मेरा नया धूप का चश्मा है दीज आर माई न्यू सन क्लासेस समुद्र तट बीच मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज समुद्र तट समुद्र तट विच मीन्स बीच मुझे समुद्र तट पर जाना बहुत पसंद है आई लव Going to the beach. Tairaki, swimming. 
सो नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज तैराकी तैराकी विच मीन स्विमिंग तैराकी एक बहुत ही अच्छा व्यायाम है स्विमिंग इज अ वेरी गुड एक्सरसाइज तैराकी स्विमिंग सूरज और सूर्य सन सूरज सूरज और सूर्य विच मीन्स सन हिंदू सूर्य भगवान की पूजा करते हैं हिंदू वर्शिप सन गॉड सूर्य और सूरज विच मीन्स सन तार का वृक्ष पाम ट्री नेक्स्ट वर्ड आर तार का वृक्ष तार का वृक्ष विच मीन्स पाम ट्रीज केरला में तार का वृक्ष एक आम दृश्य है पाम ट्रीज आर अ कॉमन साइट इन केरला तार का वृक्ष पाम ट्रीज सीप सीशल नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज सी सी विच मीन्स सीशल सजावट के लिए सीप को इकट्ठा किया जाता है सी शेल्स आर कलेक्टेड फॉर डेकोरेशन स्विमिंग सूट स्विमिंग सूट मूवी ऑन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज स्विमिंग सूट विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्विमिंग सूट इन हिंदी तैराकी के लिए स्विमिंग सूट होना जरूरी है स्विमिंग सूट इज अ मस्ट फॉर स्विमिंग महासागर ओशियन मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज महासागर महासागर विच मीन्स ओशियन शार्क मछली महासागर में तैर रही है शार्क्स आर स्विमिंग इन दी ओशियन महासागर ओशियन लाइफ गार्ड लाइफ गार्ड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज लाइफ गार्ड विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लाइफ गार्ड इन हिंदी लाइफ गार्ड समुद्र तट पर सुरक्षा के लिए तैनात है लाइफ गार्ड आर स्टेशन एट बीच For the protection of people, lifeguard in Hindi, lifeguard in English. Jet ski is also known as jet ski. Our next word is jet ski, which is again same in Hindi, jet ski. समुद्र तट पर मनोरंजन की गतिविधियों में से एक गतिविधि है jet skiing. Out of many fun activities at beach, jet skiing is one of them. So jet skiing in Hindi, jet skiing in English also. Samundh tat tolia, beach towel. Samundh tat tolia, which means a beach towel. Samundh tat tolia. आपके पास एक समुद्र तट तौलिया होना अनिवार्य है. Is it a must for you to have a beach towel? Samundh tat par lagi kursi, beach chair. A next word is samundh tat kursi, which is a beach chair. मेरे पास खुद की एक समुद्र तट कुर्सी है. I have my own beach chair. Ice cream is also known as ice cream. A next word is ice cream, which is also known as ice cream in Hindi. मुझे ice cream खाना बहुत पसंद है. I love eating ice cream. रेत का महल सैन कासल नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज रेत का महल रेत का महल विच मीन्स सैन कासल बच्चों को रेत का महल बनाना बहुत पसंद है किड्स लाइक टू मेक सैन कासल रेत का महल सैन कासल ज्वार टाइट नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज ज्वार ज्वार विच मीन्स टाइट दोपहर के समय समुद्र में ज्वार रहता है इट इज हाई टाइम टाइम ड्यूरिंग आफ्टरनून इन द सी ज्वार टाइम धूप से तपन टैन मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज धूप से तपन धूप से तपन विच मीन्स टैन इन इंग्लिश उसे धूप का तपन बहुत पसंद है She likes getting tan in the sun. Snorkeling, snorkeling. The next word is snorkeling, which means snorkeling in Hindi too. Snorkeling is a very 
ही प्रमुख गतिविधि है स्नॉकलिंग इज अ वेरी फेमस एक्टिविटी स्नॉकलिंग इन हिंदी स्नॉकलिंग इन इंग्लिश टू चप्पल फ्लिप फ्लॉप नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज चप्पल चप्पल विच मीन फ्लिप फ्लॉप गर्मियों में चप्पल काफी आरामदायक होती है इन समर्स फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स आर वेरी कंफर्टेबल सो चप्पल फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स सनस्क्रीन इज नोन एज सनस्क्रीन इन हिंदी और नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज सनस्क्रीन विच इज अगेन सनस्क्रीन इन हिंदी ऑल्सो गर्मियों में सनस्क्रीन अनिवार्य है सनस्क्रीन आर मस्ट इन समर्स सो सनस्क्रीन इन हिंदी सनस्क्रीन इन इंग्लिश टू समुद्र सी नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज समुद्र समुद्र विच मीन सी उसे समुद्र से बहुत डर लगता है ही इज वेरी अफ्रेड ऑफ सी समुद्र सी सो दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम दिस लेसन and these are the words which are most commonly used whenever you are going to a beach i hope you learn all these words i know most of the words are same in english as well as in hindi if you like our video please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel which is hindi pod and you can also leave your valuable comments your feedbacks in the comments section you can also visit our website which is hindi pod 101.com where you can find many more such lessons in hindi i'll be coming back with more hindi lessons till then stay tuned take care of yourself goodbye what's up everyone this is anuj from hindi pod 101 the easiest fastest and the most fun way of learning hindi online in today's video i'm going to talk about 10 phrases which will help you in case of an emergency so let's begin जल्दी से पुलिस को बुलाओ कॉल द पुलिस इमीजिएटली जल्दी से पुलिस को बुलाओ जल्दी से पुलिस को बुलाओ कॉल द पुलिस इमीजिएटली इफ यू इन सच सॉर्ट ऑफ सिचुएशन वे यू नीड द हेल्प ऑफ द पुलिस यू नीड टू यूज दिस जल्दी से पुलिस को बुलाओ क्या आपको बुखार है डू यू हैव अ फीवर नेक्स्ट फ्रेज इज क्या आपको बुखार है क्या आपको बुखार है डू यू हैव अ फीवर बुखार इज फीवर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस समन वेदर द पर्सन इज सिक इन यू कैन आस दिस क्या आपको बुखार है मेरा पासपोर्ट गुम हो गया है आई हैव लॉस्ट माई पासपोर्ट हा दिस कैन बी अरी सिचुएशन मेरा पासपोर्ट गुम हो गया है मेरा पासपोर्ट गुम हो गया है आई हैव लॉस्ट माय पासपोर्ट आई होप दिस डजेंट हैपन टू यू बट इफ यू आर इन इंडिया एंड यू हैव लॉस्ट योर पासवर्ड देन दिस विल बी द वे टू कन्वे दिस टू समवन हु डजेंट अंडरस्टैंड योर लैंग्वेज मेरा पासपोर्ट गुम हो गया है आई हैव लॉस्ट माय पासपोर्ट मुझे लग रहा है कि मैंने कुछ गलत खा लिया है आई थिंक आई हैव ईटन समथिंग बैड ओके इफ यू हैव स्टमक अपसेट बाय ईटिंग लोकल फूड देन यू कैन यूज दिस मुझे लग रहा है कि मैंने कुछ गलत खा लिया है मुझे लग रहा है कि मैंने कुछ गलत खा लिया है आई थिंक आई हैव ईटन समथिंग बैड well if your stomach is not adaptive to spicy food oily food this might happen to you when you are traveling to india mujhe doctor ki zarurat hai i need a doctor another phrase is mujhe doctor ki zarurat hai mujhe doctor ki zarurat hai i need the help of a doctor if you are sick or you need any kind of medication You can use this phrase. मैं अपने होटल जाने का रास्ता भूल गया हूँ आई हैव लॉस्ट द वे टू गो बैक टू माई होटल ओके इफ यू हैव लॉस्ट द वे टू योर होटल देन दिस इज द वे टू कन्वे इट टू समस मैं अपने होटल जाने का रास्ता भूल गया हूँ मैं अपने होटल 
जाने का रास्ता भूल गया आई हेव लॉस्ट द वे टू गो बैक टू माई होटल क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं कैन यू हेल्प मी नदर फेज इज क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं कैन यू हेल्प मी इफ यू स्टार्ट समवेयर एंड नीड सम हेल्प यू नीड टू से क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं मैं को गया हूं आई एम लॉस्ट इफ यू आर लॉस्ट देन दिस इज द फेस मैं खो गया हूं मैं खो गया हूं आई एम लॉस्ट सिंपल बट इट विल बी इफेक्टिव इफ यू आर लॉस्ट इन अ फॉरन कंट्री मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे चोट लग गई है आई हैव इंजर्ड माई सेल्फ नदर फेजेस मुझे चोट लग गई है मुझे चोट लग गई है आई हैव इंजर्ड माई सेल्फ इफ यू हैव मेड एन एक्सीडेंट अनफॉर्चुनेटली और anything has happened to you then you need to use this sentence mujhe chot lag gayi hai well these were the phrases which you can use in case of an emergency they will be helpful but i wish you don't have to face any sort of situation where you need these phrases that's all from this video i hope you enjoyed this video and you learn new phrases if you have any sort of comments any suggestions please leave them in the comment section i'll be back with more such videos till then stay tuned take care of yourself goodbye namaste want to speak real hindi from your first lesson sign up for your free lifetime account at hindipod101.com today traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language more and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time including their daily commute to work according to the US census bureau the average american spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work or over 300 hours a year but rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule. Very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete. Can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over 6 hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. increase your earning potential while commuting to work how would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car house or even a dream vacation according to research someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language over the course of a lifetime that's a significant amount how From work at home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So, instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. 
Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work, and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this series, we're going to learn basic Hindi expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Hindi. There are only two sentences you need to know. Namaste. Mera naam Prerna hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Hi. My name is Prerna. Nice to meet you. Start by saying Namaste. Then say Mera naam. Then your name. And then say Hai. Please repeat after me. Namaste. Mera Naam Prerna Hai Finally, say Aap Se Milkar Khushi Hui Together we have Namaste Mera Naam Prerna Hai Aap Se Milkar Khushi Hui Let's take a closer look at the first sentence. The first word is Namaste. Namaste in Hindi is equivalent to hello, which can be used at any time of the day. Next is Mera. The word Mera means my. This is a way to refer to yourself, which can be used by both men and women. Next, we have Naam. The word Naam means name. Then you say your name. And finally, we have Hai. Hai is attached to the end of the sentence and literally means to exist. In the first sentence, we have the construction Mera plus Naam plus your name plus Hai. The structure of simple Hindi sentences is different from English. In Hindi, the word order is subject, object, verb. 
The second sentence we have is Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui can be used by both men and women. It means nice to meet you. It's used when meeting someone for the first time. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Now it's time for Prerna's points. Indian people don't generally shake hands. You're better off using the namaste gesture. However, in a business situation, you might want to use a handshake. Shaking hands is more common in big cities where Western customs are more familiar. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Hindi. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners when we thank people. Kya aap tiyar hain? Are you ready? To chaliye shuru kare. So let's begin. There are several ways to thank someone. But let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad means thank you. You can emphasize dhanyavad by adding bohot, which means very much. So it becomes bohot dhanyavad. Bohot dhanyavad. In Hindi, there are other ways to express one's gratitude. Dhanyavad comes from Sanskrit and it sounds quite formal. That's why some people prefer to use Urdu expressions, which are felt to be more colloquial. A more colloquial expression for thank you in Hindi is shukriya. Shukriya can also be preceded by bohot, which means very much. Bohot shukriya. Bohot shukriya. So, now you have learned how to say thank you in Hindi. But how will you reply if someone else says thank you to you? In Hindi, your welcome is sometimes expressed as swagat hai. The expression swagat hai means welcome. Swagat hai. You can also respond to someone who has thanked you by using another expression. This is koi baat nahi, which literally means it's nothing. Koi baat nahi. So, when someone says dhanyavad to you, you can simply reply with swagat hai or koi baat nahi. Now it's time for Prerna's points. Just as with the expressions for thank you and please, Indians do not always use you welcome in everyday situations. It's a concept literally translated from English. Native speakers often show politeness simply by using polite pronouns and verb forms while speaking. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude to people by saying dhanyavad. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in India. Kya aap tayar hain? Are you ready? To chaliye, shuru kare. So, let's begin. Let's start with a greeting you are sure to have heard before. Namaste. This is a word that is so closely associated with India and Indian culture that it has become famous all over the world. Namaste. Namaste. The word Namaste is made out of two Sanskrit words, Nama and Te, which have been joined to mean I salute you. We use Namaste as a formal as well as a friendly greeting. It's used when people meet at any time of the day, morning, noon or evening. A slightly more formal variation on Namaste, which you may or may not have heard before, is Namaskar. Namaskar. Use this and you'll surely impress your Indian friends. In Hindi, using different greetings for each time of the day is not very common. When talking with friends, we usually just use the English phrases. But there are equivalent Hindi versions. They're just not used that often. If you meet someone before noon, you can say Suprabhat. Suprabhat. For later in the day, you can say Shubh Sandhya. Shubh Sandhya. But for most of the time, you can just say Namaste and not worry about it. As we learn in this lesson, Namaste can mean both hello and goodbye. However, this is not the only way of saying goodbye in Hindi. A parting expression that we can use for all occasions is Fir Milenge, which means see you. Fir Milenge. Fir milenge. The first word fir means again and the second word milenge means we will meet. Let's look at one more expression. Alvida. Alvida is an Urdu word which means goodbye. 
Alvida. It is an appropriate choice when parting for a long time. Now it's time for Prerna's points. The easiest way of saying your goodbyes in Hindi is by using Namaste. Take a slight bow with folded hands and say Namaste. Namaste and Namaskar both come from Sanskrit and mean something like I honor you or I bow to you. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greeting in Hindi. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you are asking it in Hindi, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying, even if their answer is no. Let's start with a formal expression. First, though, we need to make a note that in Hindi, verbs change depending on the number and gender of the noun. So, when asking a man if he speaks English, you would say, "Kya aap Angrezi bolte hain?" "Kya aap Angrezi bolte hain?" But to ask a woman if she speaks English, you'd say, "Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain?" "Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain?" Let's have a closer look at this sentence by breaking it down. "Kya" Kya is a question marker which comes at the beginning of the sentence. Next is aap. Aap means you. This is the respectful word for you and is used in formal situations. You should always use it with people you don't know or with elders. Next we have angrezi. Angrezi means English. Next is bolte. Bolte means to speak. It is used when the subject is masculine. Use bolti when the subject is feminine. And finally, hai. Hai is the sentence ending particle used with the formal you. Once more, for a man, it's kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? And for women, kya aap angrezi bolti hai? Kya aap angrezi bolti hai? We are now going to make this sentence informal. First, we need to use the informal version of you, which is tum. If we change the word for you, we will also change the sentence ending particle to ho. Everything else stays the same. When speaking to younger people, it's acceptable to use the informal form. In which case, you will say, kya tum angrezi bolte ho? To ask a young man or a boy. Or, Kya tum angrezi bolti ho? To ask a young woman or a girl. Again, for a boy, kya tum angrezi bolte ho? And for a girl, kya tum angrezi bolti ho? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ha. Yes. Ha. Thodi bohat. A little. Thodi bohat. Nahi. No, I don't. Nahi. Now, let's review one more time. To ask a man in a formal situation if he knows English, we would say, Kya aap Angrezi bolte hain? To ask a woman in a formal situation if she knows English, we would say, Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain? To ask a man in an informal situation if he knows English, we would say, Kya tum Angrezi bolte ho? To ask a woman in an informal situation if she knows English, we would say, Kya tum Angrezi bolti ho? Now it's time for Prerna's points. India was once, for a long time, part of the British Empire. And so today, English is one of the national languages of India. When visiting tourist areas, you are sure to meet many people who can communicate with you in English. Still, a large part of the population can't understand English. And you can never go wrong if you learn the local language. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to apologize in Hindi. There are a number of ways to apologize. But in a formal situation, you should use maaf kijiye. Maaf kijiye. The first word maaf literally means forgive. And kijiye is a polite form of the verb meaning please do. Thus, this expression actually means something like forgive me please. 
Now let's hear it again. Maaf kijiye. You use maaf kijiye when you might have said or done something offensive, wrong or embarrassing. Sometimes you'll also hear people say Kshama kijiye. Kshama kijiye. This means please excuse me or I'm sorry. In Hindi, we have many synonyms for a single expression, usually a more colloquial Urdu form and a Sanskrit form, which is used in more formal situations. This is the case with I'm sorry as well. Maaf kijiye is the Urdu form and the corresponding Sanskrit form in Hindi is Kshama kijiye. The informal way to say I'm sorry is Maaf karo. Maaf karo. Similarly, we could also say Shama karo. Shama karo. Let's review. Maaf kijiye or Shama kijiye is a formal I'm sorry or excuse me. Maaf karo or Shama karo is the informal I'm sorry or excuse me. These are all versatile phrases with a few different meanings depending on the situation. Whether you are trying to get someone's attention for a question or making your way through a crowded area or apologizing for stepping on someone's foot, these are all phrases you could use. Now, what if someone says maaf kijiye or shama kijiye to you after having done something wrong? How would you respond? In this case, you could say koi baat nahi. Koi baat nahi. This means something like it doesn't matter. Koi baat nahi. Now it's time for Prerna's points. If someone bumps into you on the streets in India, don't expect an excuse me, especially in the big cities. Big crowds are very common and so is bumping into each other. Indians are usually very friendly people, but this does not seem like something worthy of an apology. Unless someone pushes you over so hard, you fall on the ground, keep walking. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step -step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight. But with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Sign here, please. Kripya yaha sign kijiye. Kripya yaha sign kijiye. I'd like to make a deposit. Main paise jama karna chahti hoon. Main paise jama karna chahti hoon. Go back. Vapas jao. Vapas jao. 
Are there any annual charges with this account? Kya is khate par koi salana charge hai? Kya is khate par koi salana charge hai? I'd like to open an account. Main ek khata kholna chahti hu. Main ek khata kholna chahti hu. Can I have a receipt please? Kya mujhe raseed mil sakti hai? Kya mujhe raseed mil sakti hai? Can I have a bag please? क्या एक बैग मिलेगा क्या एक बैग मिलेगा I'll take one of this. मुझे यह एक चाहिए मुझे यह एक चाहिए What's that? वो क्या है वो क्या है What's this? यह क्या है यह क्या है Can you come back later? क्या आप बाद में आ सकते हो क्या आप बाद में आ सकते हो Sorry, we're completely booked. Sorry, booking full है Sorry, booking full है I'm afraid I can't make it. मुझे अफसोस है पर मैं नहीं आ पाऊंगी. मुझे अफसोस है पर मैं नहीं आ पाऊंगी. I forgive you. मैं आपको माफ करती हूँ. मैं आपको माफ करती हूँ. And you? और आप? Or up? I'm fine. Matty Kuhn. Matty Kuhn. Good night. Shubratri. Shubratri. Good afternoon. Namaste. Namaste. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. It takes about thirty minutes by train. Train se lagbhag tis minat lagte hain. Train se lagbhag tis minat lagte hain. I want a bottle of water. Mujhe pani ke liye ek botal chahiye. मुझे पानी के लिए एक बोतल चाहिए। I live in Los Angeles. मैं लॉस एंजेलिस में रहती हूँ। मैं लॉस एंजेलिस में रहती हूँ। My vacation starts in two weeks. मेरी छुट्टी दो सप्ताह में शुरू हो जाएगी। मेरी छुट्टी दो सप्ताह में शुरू हो जाएगी। I've changed. मैं बदल गई हूँ। मैं बदल गई हूँ। I won't do it again. मैं दोबारा नहीं करूँगा। मैं दोबारा नहीं करूँगा। This weekend I'm going to the movies. इस सप्ताह अंत मैं फिल्म देखने जा रही हूँ। इस सप्ताह अंत मैं फिल्म देखने जा रही हूँ। What are you doing this weekend? तुम इस सप्ताह अंत क्या कर रहे हो? तुम इस सप्ताह अंत क्या कर रहे हो? I'll have time next week. मेरे पास अगले सप्ताह समय होगा। मेरे पास अगले सप्ताह समय होगा। I'm busy this week. मैं इस सप्ताह व्यस्त हूँ। 
मैं इस सप्ताह व्यस्त हूं यूर हैंडसम तुम सुंदर हो तुम सुंदर हो आई लव यू मैं तुमसे प्यार करता हूं मैं तुमसे प्यार करता हूं आई एम हैविंग अ ग्रेट टाइम मुझे बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है मुझे बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है वुड यू लाइक टू डांस तुम नाचना चाहोगे तुम नाचना चाहोगे वेर डू वॉन्ट टू गो तुम कहाँ जाना चाहते हो तुम कहाँ जाना चाहते हो You look great. तुम बहुत अच्छी लग रही हो तुम बहुत अच्छी लग रही हो Do you like it? तुम्हें यह पसंद है तुम्हें यह पसंद है It looks great. यह बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है यह बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है I have no money. मेरे पास पैसे नहीं हैं मेरे पास पैसे नहीं हैं I want to go here. मैं यहाँ जाना चाहती हूँ मैं यहाँ जाना चाहती हूँ I'm looking for this place. मैं इस जगह के लिए देख रही हूँ मैं इस जगह के लिए देख रही हूँ Does this hurt? क्या यह दुखता है क्या यह दुखता है I have a cough. मुझे खांसी है मुझे खांसी है आई हैव अ स्टमक एक मुझे पेट दर्द है मुझे पेट दर्द है आई हैव अ हेड एक मुझे सिर दर्द है मुझे सिर दर्द है आई हैव अ फीवर मुझे बुखार है मुझे बुखार है इट्स ऑलरेडी फॉल यह पहले से ही भरी हुई है यह पहले से ही भरी हुई है अबाउट टू वीक्स लगभग दो हफ्ते लगभग दो हफ्ते इज देर समथिंग रॉन्ग क्या कुछ गड़बड़ है क्या कुछ गड़बड़ है आई एम हियर टू विजिट फैमिली मैं यहाँ परिवार से मिलने आई हूँ मैं यहाँ परिवार से मिलने आई हूँ आई एम हियर ऑन बिजनेस मैं काम से यहाँ हूँ मैं काम से यहाँ हूँ I'll stay at the Central Hotel. मैं Central Hotel में रहूँगी मैं Central Hotel में रहूँगी Have you ever been here before? क्या आप यहाँ कभी पहले गए हैं क्या आप यहाँ कभी पहले गए हैं It will snow on Friday. शुक्रवार को बर्फ पड़ेगी शुक्रवार को बर्फ पड़ेगी Want to speak real Hindi from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hindipod101.com.
I'm sorry. मुझे क्षमा करें मुझे क्षमा करें Don't worry. चिंता न करें चिंता न करें It's okay. ये ठीक है ये ठीक है Please. कृपया कृपया Please forgive me. कृपया मुझे क्षमा कीजिए कृपया मुझे क्षमा कीजिए I really appreciate it. वास्तव में मैं इसकी सराहना करती हूँ वास्तव में मैं इसकी सराहना करती हूँ थैंक यू धन्यवाद धन्यवाद You're welcome. कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं Make yourself at home. आराम से बैठिए आराम से बैठिए Hello. नमस्ते नमस्ते Good morning. सुप्रभात सुप्रभात गुड बाय अलविदा अलविदा लॉन्ग टाइम नो सी बहुत दिनों से मुलाकात नहीं हुई बहुत दिनों से मुलाकात नहीं हुई गुड इवनिंग शुभ संध्या शुभ संध्या सॉरी टू कीप यू वेडिंग माफ करना आपको इंतजार करना पड़ा माफ करना आपको इंतजार करना पड़ा वेट अ मोमेंट यात्रा के लिए यात्रा के लिए हेलो व्यस्त फोन लाइन व्यस्त फोन लाइन ऑसम बहुत प्रभावशाली बहुत प्रभावशाली डिलीशियस स्वादिष्ट स्वादिष्ट आई लाइक इट मुझे यह पसंद है मुझे यह पसंद है I don't like it. मुझे ये पसंद नहीं है मुझे ये पसंद नहीं है How are you? आप कैसे हैं आप कैसे हैं Nice to meet you. आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई I'm good. मैं अच्छी हूं मैं अच्छी हूं वट टाइम इज इट कितने बजे हैं कितने बजे हैं हेल्प मदद करो मदद करो रियली सच में सच में Slower, please. Krupeya, dhire dhire. Krupeya, dhire dhire. I don't understand. Mujhe samajh me nahi aa raha. Mujhe samajh me nahi aa raha. Once again, please. Krupeya, ek baar fir se. कृपया एक बार फिर से इट्स डिफिकल्ट यह कठिन है यह कठिन है हाउ हैव यू बैन आप कैसे हैं आप कैसे हैं दिस इज फॉर यू 
यह आपके लिए है यह आपके लिए है वट्स योर फोन नंबर आपका फोन नंबर क्या है आपका फोन नंबर क्या है हाउ ओल्ड आर यू आपकी उम्र कितनी है आपकी उम्र कितनी है वे आर यू फ्रॉम आप कहाँ से हो आप कहाँ से हो वट इज इट वह क्या है वह क्या है डू यू हैव एनी आइडेंटिफिकेशन क्या आपके पास कोई पहचान पत्र है क्या आपके पास कोई पहचान पत्र है रेडी टू स्टार्ट क्या आप तैयार हो क्या आप तैयार हो वेल गिव यू अ कॉल हम आपको कॉल करेंगे हम आपको कॉल करेंगे आई लीव इट अप टू यू आपको जैसे ठीक लगे आपको जैसे ठीक लगे इज द वाटर टू कॉल्ड क्या पानी बहुत ठंडा है क्या पानी बहुत ठंडा है इज दिस योर फर्स्ट टाइम विद अस क्या आप यहाँ पहली बार आ रहे हैं क्या आप यहाँ पहली बार आ रहे हैं इट टेक्स थ्री टू फाइव बिजनेस डेज तीन से पाँच व्यावसायिक दिन लगेंगे तीन से पाँच व्यावसायिक दिन लगेंगे Could I have a statement, please? क्या एक स्टेटमेंट मिल सकता है क्या एक स्टेटमेंट मिल सकता है आई लाइक टू एक्सचेंज मनी मैं पैसे एक्सचेंज करना चाहती हूँ मैं पैसे एक्सचेंज करना चाहती हूँ आई लाइक टू मेक अ विथड्रॉ मैं पैसे निकालना चाहती हूँ मैं पैसे निकालना चाहती हूँ In this video you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Hindi. Hi everybody, my name is Venus. Welcome to the 800 core Hindi words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Hindi. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lesson at the end. So after you learn the new words and phrases stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language you can also get the full list right now at hindipod101.com click the link in the description to access more example sentences create your own flashcard deck and finally master hindi okay let's get started First is Namaste Hello Namaste Namaste Hello Logon ne namaste kaha The people said hello. Logon ne namaste kaha. Kripya. Please. Kripya. Please. Kripya. Please. Kripya thodi der intezar kare. Please wait 
फॉर अ मोमेंट कृपया थोड़ी देर इंतजार करें माफ कीजिए आई एम सॉरी माफ कीजिए माफ कीजिए आई एम सॉरी माफ कीजिए वह अभी यहां नहीं है आई एम सॉरी ही इज नॉट हेयर राइट नाउ माफ कीजिए वह अभी यहां नहीं है शुभ रात्रि गुड नाइट शुभ रात्रि शुभ रात्रि गुड नाइट शुभ रात्रि दोस्तों गुड नाइट माय फ्रेंड्स शुभ रात्रि दोस्तों आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई नाइस टू मीट यू आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई नाइस टू मीट यू आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई सर नाइस टू मीट यू सर आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई सर आप कैसे हैं हाउ आर यू आप कैसे हैं आप कैसे हैं हाउ आर यू नमस्कार आप कैसे हैं हेलो हाउ आर यू नमस्कार आप कैसे हैं हाँ यस yes. हाँ हाँ यस yes. जी हाँ मैं ये करूंगा यस yes. आई डू इट जी हाँ मैं ये करूंगा नहीं नो no. नहीं नहीं नो no. नहीं धन्यवाद नो थैंक्स नहीं धन्यवाद धन्यवाद थैंक यू धन्यवाद धन्यवाद थैंक यू मेरी मदद करने के लिए धन्यवाद थैंक यू फॉर हेल्पिंग मी मेरी मदद करने के लिए धन्यवाद मैं हूं आई एम मैं हूं मैं हूं आई एम मैं जॉन हूं आई एम जॉन मैं जॉन हूं अलविदा गुड बाय अलविदा अल विदा गुड बाय अलविदा कहना मुश्किल होता है इट्स हार्ड टू से गुड बाय अलविदा कहना मुश्किल होता है बुरा बैड बुरा बुरा बैड वह आदमी बुरा है दैट मैन इज बैड वह आदमी बुरा है अच्छा गुड अच्छा अच्छा गुड 
सब्जियां आपके लिए अच्छी होती हैं वेजिटेबल्स आर गुड फॉर यू सब्जियां आपके लिए अच्छी होती हैं खूबसूरत प्रेडी खूबसूरत खूब सूरत प्रिटी आप बहुत खूबसूरत हैं यू आर वेरी प्रिटी आप बहुत खूबसूरत हैं बदसूरत अगली बदसूरत बद सूरत अगली वह एक बहुत बदसूरत कुत्ता है दैट इज अ वेरी अगली डॉग वह एक बहुत बदसूरत कुत्ता है आसान इजी आसान आसान इजी अंग्रेजी आसान है इंग्लिश इज इजी अंग्रेजी आसान है कठिन डिफिकल्ट कठिन कठिन डिफिकल्ट बुधवार की परीक्षा कठिन होगी Witnesses test will be difficult. बुधवार की परीक्षा कठिन होगी Pass. Near. Pass. Pass. Near. मैं विश्वविद्यालय के पास रहता हूं I live नियर द यूनिवर्सिटी मैं विश्वविद्यालय के पास रहता हूं दूर फार दूर दूर फार स्टेशन यहां से दूर है द स्टेशन इज फार फ्रॉम हेयर स्टेशन यहां से दूर है छोटा स्मॉल छोटा छोटा स्मॉल कार छोटी है लेकिन बहुत शक्तिशाली है द कार इज स्मॉल बट इट्स वेरी पावरफुल कार छोटी है लेकिन बहुत शक्तिशाली है वेल डन इन दिस लेसन यू एक्सपेंडेड योर वोकेबलरी एंड लर्न ट्वेंटी न्यू यूजफुल वर्ड्स क्लिक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड साइन अप फॉर फ्री एट हिंदी पॉड वन ओ वन डॉट कॉम टू गेट एक्सेस टू द फुल लिस्ट ऑफ वोकेबलरी यू नीड फॉर डेली लाइफ कॉन्वर्सेशन यू विल ऑल्सो गेट एग्जाम्पल सेंटेंसेज कस्टम फ्लैश कार डेक्स and more learning resources see you next time alvida want to speed up your language learning get access to all of our best pdf cheat sheets for free just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now a table for 5 paanch ke liye ek mez paanch ke liye ek mez absolutely bilkul बिल्कुल ऑल राइट ठीक है ठीक है आर यू ऑल राइट क्या तुम ठीक हो क्या तुम ठीक हो आर यू ऑन फेसबुक क्या आप फेसबुक पर हैं क्या आप फेसबुक पर हैं Awesome. बहुत प्रभावशाली 
बहुत प्रभावशाली बाय 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 कैन आई बॉर दिस क्या मैं यह थोड़ी देर के लिए ले सकता हूं क्या मैं यह थोड़ी देर के लिए ले सकता हूं कैन आई हैव अ बैग प्लीज क्या एक बैग मिलेगा क्या एक बैग मिलेगा कैन आई हैव अ रसीद प्लीज क्या मुझे रसीद मिल सकती है क्या मुझे रसीद मिल सकती है कैन आई सेट हियर क्या मैं यहां बैठ सकता हूं क्या मैं यहां बैठ सकता हूं कैन आई ट्राई इट ऑन क्या मैं इसे पहनकर देख सकता हूं क्या मैं इसे पहनकर देख सकता हूं कैन यू डाउनलोड दिस फाइल क्या आप इस फाइल को डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं क्या आप इस फाइल को डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं चेक जांच करें जांच करें कंग्रेचुलेशन बधाई हो बधाई हो Could I have your attention please? कृपया ध्यान दीजिए कृपया ध्यान दीजिए Delicious. स्वादिष्ट स्वादिष्ट Do you need anything? क्या आपको कुछ चाहिए क्या आपको कुछ चाहिए Do you speak English? क्या आप अंग्रेजी बोलते हैं क्या आप अंग्रेजी बोलते हैं डू यू अंडरस्टैंड क्या आप समझते हैं क्या आप समझते हैं डज दिस बस गो टू क्या ये बस को जाती है क्या ये बस को जाती है Don't do it. ऐसा मत करो ऐसा मत करो Don't mention it. शुक्रिया बोलने की जरूरत नहीं है शुक्रिया बोलने की जरूरत नहीं है Don't worry. चिंता न करें चिंता न करें Everything is great. सब कुछ बहुत बढ़िया है सब कुछ बहुत बढ़िया है एक्सक्यूज मी डू यू नो वर दैट इज माफ कीजिए क्या आप बता सकते हैं कि कहाँ है माफ कीजिए क्या आप बता सकते हैं कि कहाँ है एक्सक्यूज मी क्षमा करें क्षमा करें गो स्ट्रेट हैड सीधे चले जाइए सीधे चले जाइए गुड आफ्टरनून नमस्ते नमस्ते गुड इवनिंग शुभ संध्या शुभ संध्या Good morning. Suprabhat. Suprabhat. Good night. Shubhratri. Shubhratri. Goodbye. Alvida. Alvida. Happy birthday. Janamdin Mubarak ho. जन्मदिन मुबारक हो 
Hello. Namaste. Namaste. Help. Madad karo. Madad karo. Hi. Namaste. Namaste. Hold on. Ruko. Ruko. How are you? Aap kaise hain? Aap kaise hain? How do I get to the? Main tak kaise pahunch sakta hu? Main tak kaise pahunch sakta hu? How do you do? Aap kaise hain? Aap kaise hain? How do you pronounce this? Iska uchcharan kaise karte hain? Iska uchcharan kaise karte hain? How have you been? Aap kaise hain? Aap kaise hain? How is it? Yaha kaisa hai? Yaha kaisa hai? How is your mother? Aapki maa kaisi hai? Aapki maa kaisi hai? How long will you stay? Aap kab tak rehne wale hain? Aap kab tak rehne wale hain? How many people are there in your family? Aapke parivar mein kitne log hain? Aapke parivar mein kitne log hain? How much is it to? Tak ke liye kitna? Tak ke liye kitna? How much is this? Yah kitne ka hai? Yah kitne ka hai? How much? Kitna hua? Kitna hua? How old are you? Aapki umr kya hai? Aapki umr kya hai? How is your day? Aapka din kaisa tha? Aapka din kaisa tha? How's the weather? Mausam kaisa hai? Mausam kaisa hai? Hurry up. Jaldi karo. Jaldi karo. I don't like it. Mujhe ye pasand nahi hai. Mujhe ye pasand nahi hai. I don't understand. Mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha. Mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha. I like it. Mujhe yeh pasand hai. Mujhe yeh pasand hai. I live in. Main. Main rehta hu. Main. Main rehta hu. I lost my phone. Mera phone kho gaya tha. Mera phone kho gaya tha. I need. Mujhe chahiye. Mujhe chahiye. I need to go to the. Mujhe jana hoga. Mujhe jana hoga. I understand. Main samajh gaya. Main samajh gaya. I'd like this. Mujhe ye pasand hai. Mujhe ye pasand hai. I'll have this. Main yahan lungi. 
मैं यह लूंगी आई हैव टाइम नेक्स्ट वीक मेरे पास अगले सप्ताह समय होगा मेरे पास अगले सप्ताह समय होगा आई एम मैं हूं मैं हूं आई एम एलर्जिक टू श्रिम्प मुझे चिनराट से एलर्जी है मुझे चिनराट से एलर्जी है आई एम एट होम मैं घर पर हूं मैं घर पर हूं आई एम बिजी दिस वीक मैं इस सप्ताह व्यस्त हूं मैं इस सप्ताह व्यस्त हूं आई एम फाइन मैं ठीक हूं मैं ठीक हूं आई एम फ्रॉम मैं से हूं मैं से हूं आई एम फोर मैं पूरी भरी हुई हूं मैं पूरी भरी हुई हूं आई एम गर्द मैं अच्छी हूं मैं अच्छी हूं आई एम हंग्री मुझे भूख लगी है मुझे भूख लगी है आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू वर्किंग विथ यू मुझे आपके साथ काम करके खुशी होगी मुझे आपके साथ काम करके खुशी होगी आई एम सॉरी आई एम लेट माफ कीजिए मुझे देर हो गई माफ कीजिए मुझे देर हो गई आई एम सॉरी मुझे क्षमा करें मुझे क्षमा करें इज दैट इट क्या ऐसा है क्या ऐसा है इज दैट फार फ्रॉम हियर क्या यहां से दूर है क्या यहां से दूर है इज देर अ नियर हियर क्या यहां पास में है क्या यहां पास में है इट वॉज नाइस टू मीट यू आपसे मिलकर अच्छा लगा आपसे मिलकर अच्छा लगा इट्स डिफिकल्ट यह कठिन है यह कठिन है इट्स ओके ये ठीक है ये ठीक है इट्स रियली गुड यह सचमुच में अच्छा है यह सचमुच में अच्छा है इट्स सनी धूप है धूप है इट्स ट्रू यह सच है यह सच है आई हैव हर्ड अ लॉट अबाउट यू मैंने आपके बारे में बहुत सुना है मैंने आपके बारे में बहुत सुना है Just a minute please Kripya bas ek minute Kripya bas ek minute Long time no see Bahut dino se mulakat nahi hui Bahut dino se mulakat nahi hui Make yourself at home Aaram se baithiye आराम से बैठिए मे आई हेल्प यू ये लीजिए ये लीजिए मे आई सिट हियर क्या मैं यहां बैठ जाऊं क्या मैं यहां बैठ जाऊं माई मदर इज वेल 
मेरी माँ ठीक है मेरी माँ ठीक है माई नेम इज मेरा नाम है मेरा नाम है नाइस टू मीट यू आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई आपसे मिलकर खुशी हुई नो प्रॉब्लम कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं नो नहीं नहीं ऑफ कोर्स नॉट बिल्कुल नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं ऑफ कोर्स बेशक बेशक वंस अगेन प्लीज कृपया एक बार फिर से कृपया एक बार फिर से प्लीज फर गिव मी कृपया मुझे क्षमा कीजिए कृपया मुझे क्षमा कीजिए प्लीज हैव अ सीट कृपया बैठिए कृपया बैठिए प्लीज राइट इट डाउन कृपया इसे लिखिए कृपया इसे लिखिए प्लीज कृपया कृपया रियली सच में सच में सेम फॉर मी मेरे लिए भी मेरे लिए भी शर आप चुप रहो चुप रहो स्लोअर प्लीज कृपया धीरे धीरे कृपया धीरे धीरे सो वट्स नेव तो क्या नया है तो क्या नया है Sorry to keep you waiting. माफ करना आपको इंतजार करना पड़ा माफ करना आपको इंतजार करना पड़ा Sounds great. अच्छा लगता है अच्छा लगता है Stop here, please. कृपया यहाँ रुकिए कृपया यहाँ रुकिए थैंक यू वेरी मच बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू धन्यवाद धन्यवाद थैंक्स धन्यवाद धन्यवाद दैट जैकेट लुक्स नाइस ऑन यू वह जैकेट आप पर जच रहा है वह जैकेट आप पर जच रहा है दिस इज फॉर यू यह आपके लिए है यह आपके लिए है दिस वीक एंड आई एम गोइंग टू द मूवीज इस सप्ताह अंत मैं फिल्म देखने जा रही हूँ इस सप्ताह अंत मैं फिल्म देखने जा रही हूँ वेलकम आपका स्वागत है आपका स्वागत है वर मीटिंग समवन हमारा शाम सात बजे के लिए एक आरक्षण है हमारा शाम सात बजे के लिए एक आरक्षण है वर यू डूइंग हेयर तुम यहाँ क्या कर रहे हो तुम यहाँ क्या कर रहे हो वर यू डूइंग दिस वीकेंड 
तुम इस सप्ताह अंत क्या कर रहे हो तुम इस सप्ताह अंत क्या कर रहे हो वर आर यू डूइंग आप क्या कर रहे हैं आप क्या कर रहे हैं वट डू यू डू आप क्या करते हैं आप क्या करते हैं वट डू यू फील लाइक ईडिंग आपका क्या खाने का मन हो रहा है आपका क्या खाने का मन हो रहा है वट डू यू रेकमेंड आप क्या सलाह देंगे आप क्या सलाह देंगे वट डू यू वॉन्ट तुम्हें क्या चाहिए तुम्हें क्या चाहिए वट हैपन्ड क्या हुआ क्या हुआ वट टाइम डज इट ओपन यह किस समय खुलता है यह किस समय खुलता है वट टाइम इज इट कितने बजे हैं कितने बजे हैं वट वुड यू लाइक टू ड्रिंक आप क्या पीना पसंद करेंगे आप क्या पीना पसंद करेंगे वट्स फॉर डिनर रात के खाने के लिए क्या है रात के खाने के लिए क्या है वट्स नेक्स्ट स्टॉप अगला स्टॉप क्या है अगला स्टॉप क्या है वट्स द टेम्परेचर तापमान क्या है तापमान क्या है What's this? यह क्या है यह क्या है What's wrong? क्या हुआ क्या हुआ What's your favorite website? आपकी सबसे पसंदीदा वेबसाइट कौन सी है आपकी सबसे पसंदीदा वेबसाइट कौन सी है What's your name? आपका नाम क्या है आपका नाम क्या है When is your birthday? आपका जन्मदिन कब है आपका जन्मदिन कब है When will the plane leave? विमान कब जाएगा विमान कब जाएगा Where are we going? हम कहाँ जा रहे हैं हम कहाँ जा रहे हैं Where are you from? आप कहाँ से हो आप कहाँ से हो Where do you live? आप कहाँ रहते हैं आप कहाँ रहते हैं Where do you work? तुम कहाँ काम करते हो तुम कहाँ काम करते हो Where is it? वह कहाँ है वह कहाँ है Where is the? कहाँ है कहाँ है Where is the bathroom? स्नान घर कहाँ है स्नान घर कहाँ है Who is it? कौन बोल रहा है कौन बोल रहा है Who's going? कौन जा रहा है कौन जा रहा है Who's there? वहाँ कौन है वहाँ कौन है Why are you late? 
आपको देर क्यों हुई आपको देर क्यों हुई यस आई डू हाँ मैं करता हूँ हाँ मैं करता हूँ यस हाँ हाँ यू हैव गुड टेस्ट आपकी पसंद अच्छी है आपकी पसंद अच्छी है यू लुक गोर्जस तुम बहुत ही सुंदर लग रही हो तुम बहुत ही सुंदर लग रही हो Your smile is beautiful. तुम्हारी मुस्कान सुंदर है तुम्हारी मुस्कान सुंदर है You're handsome. तुम सुंदर हो तुम सुंदर हो You're smart. तुम समझदार हो तुम समझदार हो You're welcome. कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं हाय वेलकम टू इंट्रोडक्शन टू हिंदी माय नेम इज अलीशा एंड आई एम जॉइन बाय हाय एवरीवन आई एम वीनस इन दिस सीरीज यू विल लर्न एवरीथिंग यू नीड टू नो टू गेट स्टार्टेड लर्निंग हिंदी दैट्स राइट and we're here to help guide you through your journey. In this lesson, you'll learn the reasons why you should start learning a new language, why you should specifically learn Hindi, and how to get started. There are countless reasons, but perhaps the biggest one of all is that it could actually change your life. Learning a new language unlocks new pathways that are off limits to you now. There are certain things that you simply cannot do without having the technical or cultural skills that come from learning a new language. Like working or living in another country. Knowing another language provides you with greater job opportunities. You have the freedom to move to another country halfway around the world and earn a living, or better yet, build a career from it, instead of just being stuck in one place. Language allows you to visit or live in places that you may never have even considered going. Knowing another language simply gives you more options to choose from. And learning a new language also helps you to be more open-minded and see the world from a new perspective. Language and culture go hand in hand. The world is a big place, and by broadening your understanding of other cultures, it allows you to be more empathetic and understanding of the many different ways that people live their lives. With language, you're able to see and experience more, which helps you grow as a person. Learning a new language also improves your memory. Studies have consistently shown that those who study another language have improved memory as opposed to those who didn't. Learning another language also keeps your brain healthy by significantly delaying the onset of Alzheimer's and dementia. This difference can mean as much as 4 to 5 more years of quality life. And those are just some of the reasons you should learn another language. The list just goes on and on. Now you know the benefits of studying another language, but why should you learn Hindi in particular? If your next holiday destination is India, learning a little bit of Hindi can be quite handy. Yes, Hindi is the main language of India, and if you're planning to travel to the country for pleasure or business purposes, a little bit of knowledge of the language can help make things easier for you. India is a country known for its wildlife, its art, its monuments and its rich culture and traditions. And don't forget the delicious food. Yes, you can enjoy a variety of cuisines as you travel from one region to another. And don't assume that just because India has a large number of English speakers, you will be able to move around in the country with no knowledge of Hindi. You're absolutely right. Recent surveys have indicated that India has the second largest number of English speakers in the world, second to only the United States of America. But the percentage of English speakers is still quite low, at just 12%. This means while you'll encounter many people who can easily have a conversation with you in English, you will require some knowledge of Hindi while taking a taxi or an auto rickshaw or a bus. 
The knowledge of Hindi will also help you when you want to bargain and get the best possible price for the gorgeous saris and stoles or the beautiful artifacts. It could also help you handle an emergency situation easily. Definitely. Hopefully you won't have an emergency, but it is always a good idea to be prepared. If you know the language, you'll be able to interact more easily with the locals. Indians open their hearts and their homes to every visitor. Atithi Devo Bhava That means guests are like God, and large-hearted Indians are known to welcome every guest with delicious foods and drinks, and so much love that you can't help but leave their homes with an experience to remember for a lifetime. So if India attracts you, get started by learning Hindi. But how can you actually do that? It is best to start with a few Hindi words and then build up from there. To begin with, there are many English words that are commonly used in India and by Hindi-speaking natives. Yes, for example, you will see the people are likely to use the English please rather than the Hindi kripya in spoken language. Yes, but in written language, the Hindi word is used and not the English word. But we don't have to worry about the written script as of now. To begin with, we will be using romanization to learn a few Hindi words. Can you give us more examples of English words that are commonly used and understood in Hindi-speaking areas of India? Yes, natives will easily understand a thank you or a good boy or a good morning and good evening. Or even a train or a bus. Or even an office or computer or help or welcome. So that makes things a lot easier for a traveler. But let's get started with some Hindi words that you can easily learn. Let's begin with a greeting. Sure, like we said, you could easily say a hello, but you will love the smile on your host's face when you greet them with folded hands and say namaste. Namaste. Now you try. Fold your hands and say namaste. Namaste. You can also use namaste to say goodbye. Oh, that's so useful. What about thank you in Hindi? You say dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. Now you try. Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. So, how about we do a summary of the three words we learned in Hindi? Hello is namaste. Thank you is dhanyavad. And goodbye is namaste. We also learn the Hindi word for please, although we may not use it while speaking the language. Please is kripya. We learned a lot of things about India and Hindi in this lesson. We learned how learning a new language can help you expand your horizons and meet new people. It can help make travel and business easier for you when in India. We also learned that there are a few English words we can use with the natives too. Of course, we also learned how to say hello and thank you in Hindi. We also learned the Hindi word for please, although we know that we should be using the Hindi word for please only in written language and not in spoken language. In the next lesson, we're going to learn a few things about Hindi pronunciation, so don't forget to join us. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Dhanyavad and Namaste! Welcome to Introduction to Hindi. My name is Alicia and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm Venus. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Hindi pronunciation. Just like English, Hindi also has consonants and vowels. Hindi has 33 main consonants and 11 vowels. If you learn the sounds of these consonants and vowels, you'll be able to pronounce every single word in Hindi. There are also two additional consonants and two additional vowels, as well as few conjuncts. But you don't have to worry about them right now. Yes, because once you're comfortable with the 33 main consonants and the 11 vowels, the rest will come pretty easily. It may seem like a difficult task, but actually you already know many of these sounds in English. So, how about we first take a look at some of the consonants in Hindi? Yes. 
let's begin with some unaspirated consonants along with their aspirated counterparts. We won't be working on the consonants in the order they occur in the Hindi alphabet system simply because some of them are more commonly used than others. We'll take a look at these in order when we get to the lesson on writing. Hindi consonants are known as Vyanjan. Yes, you're already familiar with many of them because the sounds already exist in English or are quite similar to certain sounds in English. For example, the first consonant in Hindi is K, which is similar to the English letter K. But the next one doesn't exist in English. Yes, this one is K. When you say it without aspiration, you get K. But when you say it with aspiration, it becomes K. Interesting. But let me first explain what aspirated and unaspirated sounds are. In very simple words, we can say that aspirated sounds are spoken with a burst of air, and an unaspirated sound isn't. For example, the sound of the letter H in the English word hat. Saying this sound involves a forceful expulsion of air. Try it yourself. Ha. Ha. In Hindi, when you say K, there is no forceful expulsion of air. But when you say Kh, you will feel yourself expelling the air from your mouth. Try it yourself and see the difference. K, Kh. Next, let's take a look at G, which is the same as the sound of the letter G in the English word game. Yes, when you say G without aspiration, you get G. But when you say it with aspiration, you get G. Yes, that's the next consonant. It works the same way for some other consonants too. Yes, like CH is the same as the CH in the English word chain, without aspiration. When you say CH with aspiration, it becomes CH. Similarly, we have J and J, T and TH, D and Dh, T and Th, D and Dh, P and P, B and B. But what about the other consonants? Definitely, that doesn't complete our list of consonant sounds. Now, let's take a look at some of the other consonants and how they sound. Let's first take a look at the consonant H. It sounds like the letter H in the English word hug. We also have Y, which is like the sound of the letter Y in the English word yak. There are two letters that sound like the SH in the English word share. Yes, these are SH and SH. They sound the same when spoken. We will use the small letter S to denote them both from now on. We also have a sound that is similar to the English letter S, like in the word sun. This is S. This one is S. And we will use the capital S from now on when we refer to it. Okay, what's next? We also have N. N is just the sound of the English letter N. R is the same as the sound of the letter R in rat. L is the same as the sound of the letter L in lamb. M is the same as the sound of the letter M in marsh. V is the same as the sound of the letter W in work. Are there any other consonants in Hindi that we haven't discussed? We also have N. This may seem to be a difficult sound as it doesn't exist in English. Just try saying N, but roll back your tongue slightly. N. But aren't we still missing two consonants? Yes, we are. We also have N and N. But we don't have to worry much about them since they aren't used alone ever. So, now that we've taken a look at the consonants, how about we take a quick look at the vowels too? 
The Hindi vowels are known as swar. There are 11 main vowels in Hindi and most of them are the same as in English. For example, a is like the sound of the letter a in the English word apply. A is like the sound of the letter a in the word father. E is like the letter i in tin. E is like the letters e e in c. Then we have u which is like the letter u in put and u is like the sound of the letters o o in room. A is like the a in may. A is like the sound of the letter a in hat. We also have o and o. O sounds like the o in box and o sounds like the letters a w in sa. We also have another vowel which is re, something like the r i in riddle. We actually learned a word in the last lesson which uses re, kripya, which means please. Indeed. So, how are vowels used in Hindi? Hindi vowels can be used alone or in the form of a matra or vowel signs where it modifies a consonant. A good example where both the forms can be used in a single word is the Hindi word achha meaning good or okay. Achha. A. The first letter A is a standalone form of the vowel A. Cha. But if you see the matra at the end, after the letter ch, the vowel a here is modifying the consonant ch. This means that the sound now becomes ch plus a cha. Let's see how the vowels modify the consonant k. It can become ka, ki, ki, ku, ku. K, K, Ko, Ko. That's a lot that we learned about the sounds in Hindi. It may seem as too much to learn in the beginning, but as you continue to practice, things will get easier. True. The best thing to do is practice, practice, and practice. In this lesson, we learned that in Hindi there are 33 consonants and 11 vowels. Consonants are called Vyanjan in Hindi, and vowels are called Swar. The vowels have a standalone version, and when they're attached to a consonant, they modify its sound. So, in the word acha, the first a is a standalone form of the vowel a, but the last vowel a appears in the form of a modifier and turns ch into cha. Among the consonants, we realize that there are forms that are already present in English. When we say these consonants without aspiration, we get one consonant. When we say them with aspiration, we get another consonant, which generally doesn't exist in English. For example, k is a consonant and when we say it with aspiration, it becomes another consonant k. We just learned the basics of pronunciation in Hindi in this lesson, and in the next lesson, we'll learn the basics of Hindi grammar. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Dhanyawad and Namaste! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.